I'm on my own, broken and alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today is a bit of a different video. I'm doing a makeup collection. This is kind of a realistic one. I'm not, I don't have like loads of makeup, I wouldn't say. So it's kind of more realistic compared to like some like people like Jordan Lipcomb who get stuff sent to them. Um, so this is what I've kind of brought myself over time. So let's get into it. All my stuff is in this drawer. Some of this stuff is like years old. I'm just gonna get into it, otherwise this video is gonna be super long. So let's go on to eyeshadow palettes. The first eyeshadow palette I have is just the Kylie Jenner one, and it just looks like that. As you can see, this is a very used palette. As you can see on the back as well, like all the writing and stuff's come off. Um, we got also got this front cover one. Um, it kind of like, it's holographic like that. Um, I haven't really used this one yet. Um, it is broken. Some of the eyeshadows, I dropped it. And I haven't really used this one. And it just comes like that as well. Um, I've kind of used that one for like makeup. Like Halloween makeup. But other than that, I haven't really used that palette. So I might need to get rid of it if I'm honest. Because I don't feel I'll ever use it. The next one I have is this one from Aldi. Um, it's just a natural smoky by... The Cura, um, but the colours just look like that. Um, it's very neutral palette. Um, I haven't used this one as such yet. The colours are not pigmented, but the price that you paid for it is bound not to be 100% as good as like an Urban Decay naked palette. The next one I have is this one from Revolution. Now you guys know I love my Revolution products. This one was a good purchase for my collection. And the colours just like that. As you can tell, I like neutral colours. I'm not really a bright coloured eye person. Unless I'm really like in the mood for a bright coloured eye. Next one I have is this massive one from Revolution as well. Um, I think this was £12, I think. So Revolution eyeshadow palettes are really good. But the colours just look like that. It's very neutral, very nice. As you can see, it's a well-loved palette as well. Because this one's starting to run out and it just tells you how many shades and you get like 45 shades and it was only 12 pounds so it is a bargain the next one i have now i know i said i'm like bright colored but as i said it depends if i'm in the mood or not but it's just this other one from revolution as well um all the colors look like that these are beautiful colors i use these for like as you can tell like the black has a bit of red in it that's because i use this for like bruise makeup and kind of makeup for tiktok i do occasionally use the pinks for my eyes but other than that i don't really use this palette i tend to use like the oranges and the reds and occasionally the pinks i haven't tried the greens yet because i'm a bit nervous when it comes to green um because i look at jordan's makeup and i'm like how does she get it so good the next oh, you're probably wondering like frankie how many eyeshadow palettes do you have the next one is the naked two from urban decay um, the front just looks like that. I don't think I'll ever get rid of this, if I'm honest. It's one of these palettes that's, like, every beauty girl has. And I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. I won't have... Like, these palettes are expensive. I'm not going to just get rid of it for the sake of it. It'll have to be, like, a valid reason. Like, the colours that I use run out. I have... To be honest, I haven't used this one for ages. So... I might have to do like a tutorial on this palette. Just let me know if you want a tutorial on any of this makeup or a review because I'll more than likely do it. The next one I have is the Naked Free palette, which looks like that. Um, this one's very loved as well. I used to use this one all the time when I used to work at a pub, but now I hardly really use it. I used to wear it on nights out all the time as well. Um, but I kind of grew out of love of it. I don't really use pinky shades as such now. I'm more like a brownie nudie person. Um, the next one I have is a Beaker one. I think that's Becca Beaker. I don't know how you pronounce it. But it just has like the name of the colours on the back. And then if you open it, it just looks like that. Now this one, I've struggled to find colours to go together. I'm sorry about all the fingerprints as well. Um, but this one I've struggled to find ways to use the colours because none of the colours really go together. 
So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll probably just have to use them separately. Even though I guess I could use that one, that one, and then that one. I don't know. I have to try it out a bit more. And then the last one is from number seven. Now, if you're from America, I don't think you have number seven. Um, these are very neutral colors. It just looks like that. Um, the colors aren't that pigmented. I'm not gonna lie. So I mainly just keep this for the mirror if I'm traveling. My holiday's been canceled. Um, so it looks like I won't need to buy anything for that for this year. I think we're trying to plan it for next year. Okay, so the first one I have is from Profusion. Um, this is the highlighter set. Now I haven't really used this one because the colors are a bit dark. Um, that one's, I guess, I could use as kind of like a blush. Um, but I'm not 100% sure, like this one, as a blush. It's kind of like a pinky colour. It's probably not going to come up on camera. Um, but this palette, um, I do like. It is kind of like... Don't get me wrong, like, it is pigmented. I'm not going to lie, like, it is pigmented. It's just a shame that the colours are so dark. Because I would use it more often. The next one I have is from Revolution. This is like a duo. You get a highlighter, a bronzer, and a blush. Now, I have used this for all three of them. The only thing that I don't like is the highlighter. It's not very pigmented. Um, but other than that, the blush is fine and the bronzer is a bit dark. But when I wear my tan, it's not as dark, so it's fine. And then, also from Revolution, we got this highlighter palette. Now this one, as you can tell, is very well loved as well. I use the middle one the most. Um, the other two are a bit too dark, so I would have to wear that one on my tan. And then that one is a bit too blue for me, um, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, I do like this palette. Uh, the next one I have is from NYX. This one I loved when I was like um, 18, um, 17. I used to wear this palette all the time when I was working. Um, but I hardly use it now to be fair. I keep forgetting I have it. Um, but this one is like magnetic so you can get like the bits out and replace them. Which is good because these used to be highlighters. And then I used them all because the highlighters were really good. I think that's a setting powder, but I'm not sure. The next palette I have is from Maybelline New York, which is just this one. It's a bronzing palette. This one I use all the time. That's the one I got on today. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's a really nice bronzed colour. Um, this is the one that I use all the day, like every single day, occasionally. Occasionally I will like switch it up, but this is the one that I use all the time and it's like a holy grail. I would 100% recommend this. I don't know if they have it anymore because this is quite an old palette. Um, now we're going on to like bronzers and blushes, well no, highlighters and blush. Um, all these are from Revolution, um, so you'll find these on the Beauty Bay website or if you just go on the Boots website, I'm sure they'll do similar ones. Um, but the first one is this pinky highlighter. Um, this one I tend not to use because it is a bit too pink. Um, sorry if I keep looking down, but I wear white joggers, so I don't want it to go all over me. So I do apologise if I keep looking down. Um, but this one I think was £2, £3. Um, these are really good. I would hundred recommend these if your skin's... Um, well, I would say for this one, if you want to use it for more of like a blush highlight, I would have to recommend this one. But as a highlighter, I wouldn't really recommend this one. I think the colours come off, so I can't actually tell you what colour it is. The next one I have is this one, which is like a lighter colour. As you can tell, this one's very well loved as well. Um, so I would recommend this one. It is really good if you have light skin. Um, I usually wear this one, but I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing the Revolution Duo one. But as I said, if you want like a tutorial or a review on any of these, please let me know and I will do a video on it. Um, the last one I have is the blush. And I think this one's called, Pe yeah, this one's called Peaches and Cream. And it just looks like that. It's a very soft blush. That's the one I got on today. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, but it is a really nice blush. I would 100% recommend it. Now I'm just going to go on to like mascaras. Um, now one of these I haven't used. Um, so I'll get into it. 
Um, but this one is from Wet n Wild. This one I would kind of recommend. But I like clumpy mascaras. And this one isn't very clumpy. It's more liquidy. So it kind of goes everywhere. Um, but I can't really complain. This one was like two to three pound from um, Beauty Bay. Um, so I can't really complain because it was cheap. Um, the next one I have is from Revolution. It's just this one here. I haven't used this one yet. But that's because I've been using this one, which um, Soph does live, raves about all the time. And I can recommend it. It is very clumpy. That's the one I got on today. Um, it makes you look like you have falsies on, which I love. Because I don't really like using falsies because the glue gets stuck in my eyelashes. And it actually takes them out. Okay, now we're going on to foundations. I do have quite a few foundations. But these are because all these are different colours. Um, the first one I have is from Ardell and it's um this one is camouflage. This one I would recommend. It is a really good foundation. Um the only thing I would say it isn't the most coverage, I don't think, personally for me. If I have like spots and stuff, it kind of does um it's not very lasting on your skin because I do get patches where it's kind of like come off. Like if you want a high coverage one, I would say this is more medium coverage. So if you're looking for a lighter foundation, I would recommend this one. This one in is in light, so I'll just be careful um, when you go on Beauty Bay and you see the shades because some of them don't live up to what they say they do. Like this is light, but it's definitely not light. The next one I have is from Revolution and it's just the Revolution Pro one. This one I love, that's the one I got on today and as you can see it is as you can see, it is really high coverage. You can't see much of my blemishes. Um, so I would recommend this one for like photos as this is one that I do use when I take my Instagram photos. By the way, my Instagram will be linked down below. Well, not linked, my my um, social media names um, will all be down below. Like my TikTok, my Instagram, everything will be down below. The next foundation that I have from Revolution is the Conceal and Define. This one I would 100% recommend. I don't think you can see it because the light like reflects off it. Um, but this one is so good. It's such high coverage. And this is the first one that I actually found that I absolutely love. And I will keep replacing when it runs out. Um, so I would 100% recommend this one. And the brush that comes out of it is kind of like that. So you don't have to get messy and put it all over your hands, which I love. Especially when you're on holiday, you just can't be asked to keep washing your hands. Obviously, now it's important with everything going on, but you know what I mean. The next one I have is from The Ordinary. Now this one, I don't know if you can hear that is very liquidy so i wouldn't recommend this one and it is super light for my skin now i did get it in very fair so it's kind of my fault um but at the time i thought it'd be fine so i will have to mix these with other foundations it is very liquidy as well so just be careful when you put it on your hand and the next last foundation that I have is the Milani one, which is Conceal and Perfect. Now, this one gets so much hype, and I don't understand why. Personally, for me, it doesn't have a lot of coverage. I have to mix it, and it's very light as well. I did get it in porcelain, so maybe that's why. Maybe I need to get a darker shade. But I don't want to risk it, as I don't really know these companies well. Um, but I do use it, don't get me wrong, it's not going to waste, but I just wish I would have known um, what the shade would have been like before I got it, because I would have got a shade darker. Um, On to concealers. The first one I have is from Revolution, which is this one. Um, This one's very well loved as well, as it's running out. I am going to have to be quick, because this video is nearly 20 minutes. The next one I have is from Revolution as well, and it's just the Conceal and Define one. Um, the only problem with these is it's not a lot of coverage, so I do have to try and layer it up. Um, I got this in C57. Um, you probably can't see it because of the um, of the reflection, but the colours like that is very yellow as well. 
Um, the next one I have is the same one, but it's just in a lighter shade. This one's in C4. The last revolution one I have is just this one. This one's very well loved as well. It's nearly running out, so I have to use a brush to kind of put it on. And the last one I have, now I see this raved everywhere, but I just don't see the height with it. The brush I don't think is that good. It's not very easy to applicate. Um, if anyone has any tips, please let me know because I am struggling to find a way of how to use this because it's not exactly easy to applicate. Now, going on to like liquid highlighters, um, all these are Pro Fusion. Now, the only problem I have with these, um, I am struggling on how to use them. I've tried putting these in my foundation, I've tried putting it on the base. I've tried put it over um, um, like my powder and it's just not working. It's just not doing anything. Um, with my foundation, it made it go all like lumpy and it just made it go weird. Um, but I don't know whether to get rid of these or give them to someone I don't know yet or have to find out. I'll probably end up having to throw them away, which I don't like because I know someone else could easily use this that can't afford it. Now, going on to powders, um, I've got two. Um, this one I always use is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. Um, I usually use this one, but I did decide to switch it up and go for a powder, um, which is this one. It's a Revolution Banana Powder. This is very yellow and it's very messy. So I do prefer these ones. At the end of the day, this one does cover, like it does really brighten up my um, under eye. It does make it stay longer and it doesn't crease as much as if I was to use that. Um, well, this one. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, it's just a shame that this one is so messy. I have to tip it in a bowl and try to be careful when I'm applying it. Going on to eyebrows. I did have quite a lot of eyebrow products. I've kind of used them all. But if I do use eyebrow products, it will definitely be the benefit ones. Um, so I've got the Cabral one, which is like this. It's a pomade. So it looks like that. And this one's very well loved. I love this one to pieces. It does come with a little brush. And then the other one I have, which I'm not really fond of, as it doesn't really um, go well with my... Um, eyebrows it doesn't really make him look defined like when I have to try and do the eyebrow end I don't know what it's called um, but when I try and do that it just doesn't really define the if you already have like a good end angle of your eyebrow I'm sure it'll be fine but personally for me I'm just not a big fan of this one I prefer something wet like a pomade or um, a brow set I prefer them rather than brow powder um so going on to like primers and setting sprays i've got the ordinary primer which i would 100 recommend this one is so good it's so easy to applicate and it's really like just makes the foundation go on so nicely so i'd highly recommend this one the next one i have well setting spray i have is a two-in-one primer and setting spray and this is from rimmel london and i've had no problems i've only used this twice and I would 100% recommend it. It does make my makeup last. Um, if I cry, it makes it stay perfectly fine. Because I do TikTok where I cry. So um, these ones are really good if you want your makeup to last. And especially if it's like raining, it's probably ideal. Um, going on to bits and bobs. I got my makeup brush cleaner. This one isn't as good. I probably don't use it right. Um, so I need to research on how to actually probably use these. And I just have my Real Techniques um, Beauty Blender. Um, this one you get two in. So I'm currently got the one up on the shelf. Um, but these I would 100% recommend. It makes my foundation and everything go on so nicely. These are all just like my lip glosses and my lipsticks. I'm only going to go through a few that I really use. Um, because you don't really want to see all my lip balms that I have. Um, so I got all these um, Bare Minerals ones, like lip glosses. Um, these are the ones that I use quite a lot. As you can see, I use it quite a lot because it's started, you can see it down the side. 
Um, I just got my Vaseline lip balms. I got my MAC lipsticks. So I got that one, which is in Who, which I absolutely love, which is like nude lip gloss, well, lipstick. And I got this one in Satin, which I love, kind of looks like that. I love these lipsticks so much because they're really nude and I like a nude lip rather than one that is really bright and out there. Um, I got my um, Lush scrubs and um, this one's in Honey and I would honestly recommend these as well because all these products are natural and they're home, well I say they're homemade but they're not like done in a massive factory, they're probably done in the store I think. Um, but this one I would recommend if you're going for like a really, like you remember when everyone went through that stage of buying like really dark lipsticks. I remember it was a massive phase because I remember watching Sienna Marbella, I think. Sienna Marbella, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. I remember watching her and she always had this dark lip on. And she's the first person that I got inspiration from to start a YouTube channel. Um, because I loved her videos when I was like 16, 17. I would watch them every day that she would upload. Um, so that is all my makeup. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a massive thumbs up. Please like and subscribe. Um, because I know 75% of you are not subscribed. It would really mean a lot to me if you did. Request that you want me to do down below in the comment section because I will do them more than likely because I am starting to run out of ideas what to do. Um, so please let me know. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time.